Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to the aftermath of RimWorld. We're a couple of hours after last episode, and got everybody back down into the base. We've got some, some healing going on here. Klaus is... Actually, Grandma just got out of bed. Klaus, how about let's let's mess with uh, Natalia here and go swap beds out. <laughs> wait a minute, Natalia. Wait, wait, hold on. Let him get there. You're Almost. I can't make her clean something, or I guess I can just make her wait. There we go. Go. <laughs> I guess you know he was kind of injured. It took him a while to, to to make the trip. Okay, so these folks are in here. We've got one, two, three, four, five prisoners out of that. Two of them, I think we will not be keeping. That's my opinion right now. Let's let's pause and kind of work our way through them. May May, the 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 bringer of doom, I think is a keeper. So, um, female, and can grow really well, which is the main characteristic, and, and the green thumb, which gets a bonus every time that uh, she plants something. So that's that's really helped out Cathra. That's, that's ended her uh, her uh, reign of, of uh, being on the edge of, of uh, bad moods because she just goes out and plants up, and she's happy. So Mei Mei would be the same way, even though she's jealous. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. It gets a mood loss if any colonist has a more impressive bedroom. So she's going to be a bit of a challenge. But I like that skill. And that's important to our base in the autumn when we desperately need all that hay grass brought in. Olga, on the other hand... Well, we do have the medicine to fall back on. We've got quite a few that can do medicine now. Otherwise, there's so many voids in here. And the, well, lazy we can work with, but the very neurotic, plus 14 toward mental break. That's more than any of ours. I don't know if I want to go that route. Some of ours stay on that edge, you know, off and on a bit much. And I think this one's going to be too much, but... Um, you guys let me think. Uh, let me know what you think. And then Kina, and also a female. We've, we're, I've only got one female character uh, subscriber left to name. We'll do that this time. And we're going to switch into guys taking on female characters if they choose to. But Kina, character, more voids, and depressive, negative 12, on top of psychically hypersensitive. Not just sensitive, but hypersensitive, 80%. So those two combined are almost a guaranteed uh, crisis coming up. Shooting is really good, though. There is that. I mean, she could be a permanent hunter. But, and that might work out. So again, let me know what you think. Um, but of the guys that we got a hold of, we got a hold of two guys. We got Klompster. Klompster is really good at melee. He would probably be the chief of the melee group that we're starting to form. He's definitely got the best skill of the whole group. Um, 80% recruitable, so po possible. Uh, back to character. Otherwise, can cook and can art and can learn other things. Pessimist, though. Negative six. But negative six is not that bad. I mean, negative six is like, um, Maskinen's nudity of negative six. You know, un unwelcome nudity. So it's not as bad as, say, those two, two or three in here that have got a negative 12 all the time. And we're, we're making that work. But so a, a negative six is, is doable. And then we've got the neurotic, which then adds another plus 8%. So this is combined. This is a potential problem, but we need guys. So we're going to have to make it work. And I kind of like the, uh, you know, the melee character there. Um, and then we've got Decker. Decker... Again, guy, biggest bonus. Greedy could be kind of interesting. Interesting gets a mood loss if he doesn't get what he wants. He wants a really impressive bedroom, which isn't the same as jealous. Jealous wants the best bedroom. He just wants a really impressive bedroom. And impressive is a is a rating. You see that there underneath workshop is the word impressiveness. So we just need to ramp up that rating right there, I believe, and we satisfy greedy. So that's doable. You just add a few more bonus things to a bedroom and you've got it. Neurotic is the plus eight. So Klompster had the neurotic also, but then has the nervous on top of it. Oh, and the pessimist. Negative six and nervous plus eight and neurotic plus eight. Oh, wow. 
Plumster's going to explode on us, isn't he? Hmm. Yeah, we're kind of running out of great choices here. Hmm. Anyway, I have set Olga for prisoner for friendly chat and Kina for friendly chat. Otherwise, we want uh, recruit, recruit, and recruit for the other three. And if anyone has some some passionate uh, uh, thoughts on on what's happened there, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, we're going to go with that. Um, 78% difficulty, 94 for Olga. Well, that was another strike against her. Uh, Keen is actually quite recruitable. Uh, Klompster, 80, and Decker, 97. Whoa! Really? Character... And Decker was the easier one to deal with. Purple's 99, right? Prisoner, 99. We'll see what, what falls out here. We'll give it some time and see what happens. Otherwise, what else to catch up with here? Um, this is a problem. This is the second time we've dropped, we've lobbed a bomb into here and wiped out a bunch of our weapons. Um, I liked the idea at first of having the armory in the middle of the gauntlet, but the gauntlet is a war zone. <laughs> There's a good chance something's going to go wrong in here. So I came up with the idea of coming up, uh, putting together a uh, uh, an armory inside of here. Access from near the gauntlet. Tap into here, and every two squares would be one of these these uh, racks right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On that wall, eight on this wall, and then in the center, back to back. Another seven and an aisle, and then a couple here on the end cap. So we could have just a long row of all different kinds of weapons down this length right here. And there's room for something here. I have no idea what that is. And I was able to keep this. I moved this whole uh, hallway over. It used to pop in right over here. So I shoved it over, redesigned this a little bit, and we're, we're gradually getting there. Batteries are holding up pretty good on the, the, the system above the river with the new uh, thermal generator. Uh, geothermal generator. How are we doing over here? Where am I? Over there. With most of a day, we haven't got back to full. So we could very well still be behind the curve on, on power on this side. We did have one that wasn't running, but that shouldn't be enough to, to cripple us. So yeah, we're still going to have to kick around power, power in here, especially as we continue expanding and uh, moving things you know, around and opening up more of this. Now we are going to pull some of these things out of here. I have turned this back on and this back on and this back on. So there's almost a thousand watts between that right there. So as we are able to pull these out of here, this should uh, at least balance out again. But we might be using some of our reserve just to get by until that happens. Otherwise, what is happening here? There weren't any injuries that were critical. Let's go through this real quick. Spine and brain are the ones that, that spook me the most. There may have been one in, with Olga or with Kina. Brain stab scar. So she has that going against her too. And she's also the one that character has the depressive and the psychically hypersensitive. So I'm pretty sure Kina's out. We'll just let her, her walk away. So Decker, he got shredded torso, shredded head. We'll see what that means when the recovery comes through, but I think shredded just means there's a whole lot more to do to be uh, uh, to be healed. But we'll see. We also, no, Klopster was not involved with the uh, the Doomsday rocket. Uh, May May was not either, even though that blast that blast was something else. I watched that over again, the the slow mo when it hit right here, and then it hit way over here. And over here or something like that it's like it looked like the thr the triple rocket launcher all combined into one blast it looked like there was a, a like blast there a blast here and a blast here and you can only see parts of it because the mountain blocks it out so just the residue hit right here and the rest of it hit over there and then all of this but then you know the next scene the next couple of frames it blew back all the way through this and then came back again i thought that was quite interesting the way they've uh, They've got the game programmed to, to try to simulate something like that. So otherwise, can we get going? The only one who's not really been healed is Kaya. I've been distracting her with uh, giving her repair jobs to do because she's only got a bruise. So I really wanted just to keep uh, keep her going. She's down to three left on a bruise to the 
to the head. There it is, a bruise to the head. So I didn't want to spend the medicine on it, and she really didn't need the uh, the medical treatment. But where is she at right now? Kaya, right there. I'm on her way to grab a meal. Then I asked her to bring a stack of meals over to here. Then we can start feeding these guys without uh, having to run out and get meals and come back. Because I was going to have several of these be bringing meals in as I started the episode, but they're all in places like here. So, or, well, they were a moment ago. And so they're all wanting to bring their strawberries to the uh, prisoners. And I want a plus five stacked into these prisoners as quick as I can get it. So we're going to have to wait a little bit. But we've got this going on over here. Let's get some healing happening to our crew. None of them were near as bad as the prisoners, so we took care of the prisoners first. They were all five hours and eight hours before death. So, disease infection. Who are you? Klaus? Klaus got an infection. Oh, let's see. Gotten sick from infection. Infection is in his left leg. Ensure you have a medical bed and doctor and make sure that Klaus gets proper treatment and spends as much time in the bed as possible. So, health. Right there. Need a treatment to fill that that timer there, then it'll gradually you know, recede until it needs another one. So, infection, minor, and doesn't have, oh, he has a listing immunity down there of zero. So, we're in a good hospital, clean, sterile tiles, good quality hospital bed, should be no problem. But it does mean that, which is interesting, we are in a good, clean hospital. You know, it doesn't count the, the dirt, yet yeah, we still got an infection. Although that may have triggered while he was sitting in this bed or wherever he was, I don't know. It you know, may have been a residual from that. But we'll let that go. It just means that he's not going to be able to get up out of bed and go do his his uh, wardening thing as early as I would have normally. Um, but Klaus, health, you are being worked on right now. So once you're done with all that, I'll reset you to, uh, to herbals. If I do it right now, she'll drop the, the good stuff and go grab the herbals. Uh, severe illness is Klompster, so was in really bad shape. That should be uh, pulling out pretty soon. Got all of the... So who's missing parts? Left arm scar. Okay, Olga. Not getting the sense of... Seems like there was somebody missing a... There, left ear cut off for Kina. Was that it? Maymay? Disease infection. This time it is Olga. Jump to... So Olga got a disease in her torso. Yeah, they were pretty uh, pretty torn up in there. So we'll just let this go. I set Maskinen who to uh, do some cleaning. And Maskinen, let's get you named. So we've got character. And Maskinen is the last female subscriber that has asked to be on the list that I've got record of. So if I missed anybody, then let me know. Crazy Faith. I'm going to go with Faith for now, unless you correct me, because I can't find anything crazy about this character. Teetotal or nervous and slowpoke. You know, if it was psychopath, then okay, we, we could play with that. So let me know what you think about that. But Faith, you are in. And next I've got Manuela and Radar have, have said that they would be fine with a female character. Manuel and Radar. So after that, any other guys that have been waiting to get into the... Uh, into the game if you guys want to wait for a male character let me know if you want to come up with a, a female variant of your name let me know but the game has this playthrough just given us a, a steady stream of female uh, prisoners it seems like and it's just not worked in you know by the same odds the same uh, proportion that uh, male subscribers have asked to be on the list but there's still probably a good 20 subscribers that are still waiting on the list and we're we're Maybe halfway through the series is a guess. I could see this hitting 200, maybe a little bit more episodes. So it's not like we're going to be ending it soon and you're going to miss out. Just a matter of finding some characters that are fun and then sticking names on them. Nobody really wants the character that does nothing but cleans. And that's all they get to do. You know, it's just not, not something that's worth tuning in for as far as watching your own character. It's fun to watch the other ones, but I'd like for everyone to get something, somebody kind of exciting to be so let's go back to Faith, which I have already blanked out here. Faith, who are you? Faith is 52. Um, what's the chronological age of 68? Okay. I'm still never... The biological age of 52. So you tell me what that means. Unless it's chronological on a different planet with a different number of days. I'm not sure how that works. 
what they're trying to do with that. Faith was a slave farm, a childhood slave farmer. Abandoned as a little girl, Faith was found by a farmer. Okay, being infertile himself, the farmer kept her as a slave. Okay, so was a farmer slave. Maybe that's a better way of wording that. It seemed backwards. The constant beatings left her scarred and unable to handle violence. After many years, she ran away. But being on the farm, she got a plus four growing. Rocket engineer. So she ran away and became a rocket engineer. Won a grant to a top school and earned a degree in rocket engineering. After several years working for a space mining company, she left to travel and see the universe. So negative one is social and negative two in medicine and negative four in cooking, but plus four on construction, plus three on mining and plus five on intellectual. So incapable of violence. So, yeah, these are not just zeros and ones. These are marked off completely. Teetotaler. Faith abhors the idea of gaining pleasure through chemicals and avoids alcohol and pleasurable drugs. Nervous. Tends to crack under pressure. Plus 8% mental break threshold. And slowpoke. Is always falling behind the group whenever she goes anywhere. So, movement speed is slower. It doesn't affect work or the ability to skill up or anything like that just takes a little longer to get there and that's fine so that is our latest character good at construction good at growing good at mining right now though is doing some cleaning because she's low man on the totem pole she gets to do some cleaning right now we are filthy man this place is well i already sent her down through here let's see where is a good example well even this has been worked on. Good. Sangria is no longer inspired for a shooting frenzy. Ah, okay. Then let's deal with that. We had her set for hunting. Let's get her Sangria back to handling. That one down. Drop into growing next and plant cutting next. Yep, that's good. Okay, so what, where, how? 20 hundred hours. In here, Klaus, pause, health, Got done. Set you, or not pause, but I pause. Set you to herbals. Kaya. Oh, got done with her cleaning orders and decided she wants to go get that, that bruise worked on. Okay. Well, who's Tomislav? Didn't get to bed. What did he do? He went to go talk to Olga. Tend to Olga. Tend to Olga. That makes more sense. Okay. And 2,100 hours. He may get the trigger to go to bed next. So, needs. He's had his meal. Why don't you head over to Tend to Kaya next? Otherwise, we need somebody to feed these guys. David is feeding. Oh, David's up. Good, good, good. So, he is on wardening first. Cued. Oh, that's not David. Okay, there we go. He's probably going to just work his way through this whole group. Because Cathra is in a hospital bed. Klaus is in a hospital bed. And the next one is, let's see, David. And who was the other warden? Warden. Kaya is. That's right. She's got some warding skills. Okay. And after that is Sangria than Handy, but they've never been in on it. Okay. Like, those are our four main wardens. And cooks. So we've got just three main cooks. And if we did hang on to, I forget which one it was, of the prisoners, there could be a fourth. Um, otherwise, what's important here? Handle. Interesting. First of all, who's shooting what? But, oh, well, Sangria already had the order to go out. Okay. So she's going after, actually, she hasn't hit it yet. Let's cancel that. And go ahead and get you back in. We've got plenty of foods right now. Last time we ended with four of them. Heading up here to try and take out... Oh, Tycho, I think was the name, ran up in here. And they were so happy to be done, even though they didn't get them. And they were heading back, and I said, uh-uh. You guys can carry in some more some more hunted animals. So we got all but two, I think. If I were to double-click on you, would I get more? No, there's no various in that regard. So it's just you and you. that it? I think so. So two animals left to bring in. Um, cold outside... 31. So we're freezing now. So we'll get through the night. We can get them tomorrow. And there shouldn't be a problem. Won't spoil. Um, missing body parts, 32% though. Other critters, like those raccoons up there, are all eating them. Hmm. Not good. So, 
where are we really at right now? Eric, you are resting. Kaya, fully healed. Good. In fact, did, did Klaus or Tomislav even get there? You... You want to wear a muffler leather t-shirt, 99%. Okay, that's fine. And it's not a dead man's shirt. So look at the animals sleeping in there. Alright, Chick, where are you at? You know, I still don't see... Did Chick grow up? Okay. Huh. Let's go this way. Um, you're up in this area. Okay, there's a new word. A cockreole. So that must be the teenage version of a little boy rooster. Right there. Okay. Rooster one. Okay, you're right over there. I see. So that was chick one right there has survived and we still have a couple of spaces left no I think they're all pretty full that one's not built yet I don't think so we may except for the ones that are blue which are boxes that haven't been constructed so we, we may still have an animal or two not getting in right there so we still got to get these constructed but what can we do through the night here let's think about things severe illness clumpster has still got a severe illness so, health. Why is that? Well, Boar is pregnant. David is talking to us. So has everybody gotten meals? Let's go that route. Did David really get through the whole crowd? Looks that way. Okay, that's all done then. Good. Got some meals up in here. David's going to work on purple and probably do a talking to everybody here. So David is pretty much on warden mode for, for the night shift right now. Kaya just went to sleep. Grandma should be up and doing some cooking. And I was having Shantigo and Michael do nothing but um, um, kibble to get them through. And needs... Actually, I didn't work you to the bone. It's only midnight. You can clear and go ahead and do all that. In fact, all the stuff's here, though. So, Grandma, where are you at? You... Michael, let's release you as well. So... Where are you at at the moment? You are just starting your next round. Okay, so that's a good time to clear you. But I could have Grandma, if she makes this meal, right there, come over, autosave, and butcher at steel. I call it butcher, even though I know it's going to be kibble. But all the goods are there, so she won't have to do anything but use them, and then I'll turn her loose, because we're looking pretty good now. What's it look like in here? Did it all get hauled? It did. We got five piles. Important to have the five piles. That way they can hit it from different directions and, and uh, it isn't just one big pile with only one animal able to get to it at a time. Alright, let's see her do that. Miss P is taking on the job of kibbling as well. We can get you probably set back to butchering. So let's put kibble down one notch on that one. And... Grandma, what you doing? Did we not get... It's right there. Grandma, it's it's right there. You don't need to... It's because I told you to do it when you were down there. So the game... Reserved? How did that happen? How did Grandma go back to cooking a fine meal? That's really weird. Okay. Let's do that. And Miss P, you can have that one. You're doing it automatically. Okay. Let's see if Grandma can use the supplies already here. That's what I would have assumed would have happened. But I guess not. Just want to do this round, then I'm going to pull her off of there. We have enough kibble for now. We don't need to continue. And you're going... Making kibble. But it's 20 and 20. What am I missing here? You just insist on grabbing that pile of venison. Okay, okay, that's all right, okay. <laughs> what do we do for a rec room? Give me your thoughts on this. Clobster's better, good. The the um, uh, severe illness is gone. Is this, I don't think this is enough, even if we get it finished and smooth, to be a uh, really high-end dining room. I think it needs to be a bigger space. I would have liked to have had it at least you know, from this cooler over. But I was trying to squeeze in a rec room, and even that's not really big enough to be a, a really high-end rec room. wonder if we should take a space like right here 
and make it the rec room and do something else in here. We could be a bigger dining room and stick the, uh, the comms console in there with it and then have a specialized rec room. And then what would be the main hallway in? It's probably right here. Though, uh, yeah, it should be this one. Vertically. I think in the end, it's, it's at this river crossing. Maybe we can diagonal, kind of like I was kind of diagonaling into this, diagonal over to where we make contact with the building and make a, you know, vertical 45 and, and you know, horizontal uh, entrance to it, which means there would be room here for a rec room. So I'm kind of liking that idea. Something twice the size of this room for a rec room. Maybe a couple of pool tables in there. We've got the supplies for that. But speaking of supplies, I need to find somebody maybe handy at that. Repairing granite wall. We have a lot of repairs to do. Yeah, we got to get the base going again. I need to get someone to get out there and get um, uh, the, the, the ship chunks torn down and get some more components for things like, well, really what I need before anything else, I probably should just get it built. It doesn't have to necessarily be in a room. Is the components table. I can't do that till we get it researched, which means I've got to get Tomislav back on research. Who is our best research at the moment? Is it still Tomislav? It is. So he's a 15, another wild boar is pregnant. Yeah, we may have to have baby back ribs soon. We just might have to. Natalia's a 13 and Tomislav's a 15. So he's still got the edge on, on uh, research. Work. That was work. And you are, after your doctoring, you're still set for research. Okay, that's done then. Hit that one and that one. So he will drop into here after the infections and whatnot are done. Kathra, how are you doing? So you're down to uh, a bruise, a gunshot, and a bruise. So one mark, or one tick, two ticks, and five ticks, and you're done. Right eye is old, neck is old. Okay, that's all in good shape there. Klaus, you burn, two ticks, and we've got a bruise. Another two, we've got a burn. Eight. That was a bigger one, and there's an infection dealing with that one. And then a burn that is two away from being finished on your left middle toe. I'm glad we saved the left middle toe. That's that's important. Over here, I guess we'll just kind of wait and see what's going to happen there. I'm not going to try and recruit the two. It'll be next episode. I'll let them, let them go, just in case uh, someone has some passionate thoughts about it. Otherwise, what do we do with our time this time? A lot of repairs. Though I did release all of the space so we can get all the interior walls rebuilt, and it looks like we're done with that. We've got all the weapons out of here. Let's do a little bit of cleaning. Hannah, you do that. I need someone who could do some quick cleaning. Rarick's good at repairing, and we'll let him do that. Who, who isn't critical at the moment? Breakdown. Wooden electric tailor bench. Oh, over here. And that's been Kaya's job to... Kaya can repair. Feeding five meal to Meimei. Okay, feeding is fine for you. And you also have a good social. That's right. Let me look at you again. Kaya, you're down in there. So, Warden, you're a 12 of 20. You're really good. And you're good at cooking. No. I needed. I desperately needed the kibble. So I went through and set as many as I dared to cooking. But let's get you back on... Construction of nine. That is your next. No, tailoring has got to be your next. I need you making clothes for all the damage we just did. But you're capable of it, so I can assign you to it. So what I'm rambling around to try to say is, Kaya, can you fix that? We have no components. Urgh. What were we about to build that we don't need to that can give us some? This is not removable. To transfer over to the other side. So if I deconstruct you, I have a feeling you're going to drop a component or two. Kaya, where are you actually? Oh, you are on your way to deal with that. Then you're going to lost. Ya. You're going to do this. Deconstruct. And if I catch it in time, because I can't trick it right now, it doesn't exist for me to say then work on that. Right, right. So I have to just be there to catch you. Otherwise, so you're going to do that. I need a cleaner. Um. Let's just work backwards. Faith, you actually are. That's right. You're set to cleaning right now. So, needs 
Your joy's not that bad. You, I prefer you just go get a meal. So grab a wow. All right. Let's reset. Grandma, let's cancel. That didn't work. Grandma and Grandma. That's the button I meant to hit. You're going to consume some berries. I guess you are. And then if I leave you alone, you should get over there and get to work. Um, Chantigo's sleeping. He was up late. Michael is consuming a... F oh, he's got his own fine meal. <laughs> then he'll get to work on making more fine meals. All right. So 255. We had 100 kibbles just sitting out here, didn't we? No, it's been hauled. Yeah, we're down to 255 again. It may be in transit. 249. Okay, so fine meals are next. What was I about to say about dealing with the fine meals? I needed someone, Kaya, to go and get something to eat. Yeah, she's already done it. Okay, so you're going to take that apart. I'm going to catch you doing it so we can see if there's any components left. Then I'm going to have you go and make that repair. Then we're going to get uh, Faith working on cleaning up the gauntlet so we can set traps. That's what I was trying to get to. Catherine's available again. Good. Catherine's got her own fine meal. That's good to see. You are really... There we go. Kaya, I need you... Eh? Who fixed that? How'd they do it? That's crazy. Okay, well, somebody found a component somewhere. All right, then. We'll leave it at that. So, Kaya, you can then go for a walk. Needs... You don't need to go for a walk. Relax socially? <sighs> let's just do that, and I'll try to remember that you're there. Yeah, let's do that. Rather than unset just from relaxing socially. Anyway, Tomislav, did you get to... You are still doing your doctoring. Okay. With Olga, and then you should dive down into doing this. Natalia, I could set you as well. I really want the components table going. So Natalia, you're alphabetical. Hmm. Let's take these down and get you back into there. And then if you don't, then you drop into cooking. Make that a three. And hunting, make that a three, which will put you back into smithing again. Yeah. I think that's the route to go. Okay. So that will get two potential um, researchers going on around the clock. So Faith. You ended up over here cloud watching, and you're done, and you're going to go clean rock rubble. Specifically, you pause, don't go any further that way, you're going to clean up the blood over here. Let's get at least near our walkways cleaned up. It doesn't really matter if we're dirty out in the middle. I don't think that's going to affect us much. But if we're standing here all day long for a battle stuck in this, I would imagine that's racking up a lot of negatives against us while we're waiting. Handy, you are removing roof. Hmm. Long term, what is the plan here? Let's put the roof back on strategically. Let's build roof through here, like so. Then let's remove roof there. And that's something I meant to meant to say. I don't think these are a problem being outside, and I don't think we can deteriorate. Oh, let's find out right here. Are you considered unroofed? No. Is the shelf considered unroofed? No. So it's fine. Different from this, deteriorating due to being unroofed. Okay. But I forgot all about the fire foam poppers. I really did. We've talked about it before. We researched it to have as, as an emergency plan, and then it never got back into the conversation. So I put a fire foam popper in here to stop this from ever happening again, which may work may be what we need it's actually got quite a bit of a of a zone of influence so this would handle the entire armor armory sitting in that one spot you see it's about the same size as the uh as the orbital trade beacon but that would go ahead and put one in here in case this ever catches on fire we'll put one in here in case that ever happens and wouldn't hurt to put one like in here did i do that i think about it i guess i didn't i do that where can i get i guess i can just put it put it anywhere that's right there we'll just put it one space away right there so just need to remember that it is there so that we can get that built they may do it on their own but i've got always got so many projects racked up ahead of them um i put one 
So I gotta think of other places that are really important. But one No, I didn't go into there. But where was the other one? It seemed like there was one more spot. Was it down here? No. A place that if it lit on fire, it would be devastating to us. I'm not seeing it. Seems like there is one more space. But I've been combing this place back and forth in between episodes. I haven't recorded for a couple of days. Got real busy with my, my business on Friday and Saturday. So this is Sunday afternoon I'm recording this one. Which means I'll try to get it out by Sunday night. Which for some of you is going to be Monday morning. But um, for the next couple of months, Friday and Saturdays are going to be pretty busy. So if you, if you see me just kind of disappearing for a while then uh, you'll know what's going on so uh, i'll try to put out either extra episodes or longer episodes like that last episode was an hour and a half long to kind of make up for it um eric already had this one set he is oh we can tear this one down did we remove the roof uh grab there and brightly lit okay so let's get this torn down and get this wood back that was just a quick little temporary thing that was kind of fun handy let's specifically do that this should be all fine as far as roof goes right pause and i guess i have no way to know of knowing i think we're fine yeah we're good okay now you want to building standing lamp the next priority in the entire colony is building that there <laughs> Wow, okay, then it was a good time to pause. So, but Faith is just getting here. Mm. Okay, Handy, mm, let's see here. I want her to start setting traps, but I don't want to endanger Faith, who's going to be randomly cleaning, because everything's set for home zone at the moment. Is there something else better to get Handy doing right now? Um, all right, little stall tactic. Handy, can you bring up enough to just build this area right here? All, you know, 75 blocks and fill that all in. Faith, let's get you specifically cleaning this area. And then we'll get all this reset. And probably this area here. Now, home zone wise, we're still safe in the areas where there are still traps. So I can actually start uh, clearing home zone and strategically through here. Let's get at least all of the, uh, the interior walls done. So there there okay so you're done in this area let's get you well we have one more spot right now let's just you know specifically clean up olga's blood please thank you um wow you tell them to go there and they have to hit the circumference first that's just that's just how they're that's how they're programmed yeah i'll get to that i'll get to it uh, thanks for telling me to do that i'll make that number 10 on my list come over and get this one and we'll get this one reset. But that should free up, I'd say, enough to get started over here. Um, so let's work on home zones. Right here, let's shut down that area. And yeah, I'd say there. And he's going to move in and do all of that. We'll shut down from here to there, like so. They can still repair this one from the inside. And yeah, I'd say those are fine. And then she's finished this area. Let's get into this area right here next. So work on cleaning up this area. Otherwise, I'd say we're close enough. We can start resetting traps. These are all the little details that I do in between episodes, usually after a, a battle, do a little cleanup there. Why she chose to go that way. And now I'm going to leave that door. I was going to say, let's tear that door down while we're here. But let's instead wait until this, this other door gets built. Then we'll tear this one down. But handy, let's start doing some, some trap resetting while we're here. Let's just trigger them all and rearm. But they'll only do them when I assign them. Otherwise, it's pretty low on the totem pole. So handy, let's specifically needs go get a meal. Okay, so let's clear that out. And can we save our prepackaged meals? I'd really like to do that. Where is that kitchen at? Over here. So we do have one or two available now. Do we have anything over here? Nothing got hauled. Okay. 
So come on over and just grab one of these and reserved by who? Anastasia. Um, so Anastasia's taking this whole pile to go that way. All right, then. Go over here and consume one of these fine meals. Let Anastasia go ahead and move the pile. But after you're done with that, then come back up and grab... Oh, this one. Through five. And then stay in this area and do that. We'll get Eric in here to handle this area. Um, that'd be fine. I think so. Let's find you first. And we'll come back to... You're over here working. Okay. So working on a marble plant pot in the jails. So we can make it pretty. So you got to there and went to there. Okay. So you come on up and do this one. You're still working on that marble pot? Yep. Yeah. You can finish that one. And then do... Actually, I didn't check your meals. Ah, you're not going to make it for that. Let's clear all that and let's get you down here to eat a meal first all right there and that one yeah that one's free oh well so much for the pot i stopped you almost there but at least the work is reserved i'll let you finish it why don't you do that let's redo it let's get that job done so now you can come over to the 10 there you are now i got that right this time then you're gonna walk over here and take over that one that one and these so that'll take care of the first half of our gauntlet and let's finish off the cleaning areas here clear home zone all right you are now no longer allowed to be from there to there there to there is that good now trap wise i think so Thump, thump. Handy's already here. Okay, let's pause. Now it's getting dangerous, and I've still got work to do. So, home zone, are we happy? Let me think this through. You can get to these from the outside. That way you can get from the outside, or maybe they can lean in, you know, diagonal from here. Otherwise, all the rest of this looks to be okay. We're completely missing a trap. That that uh, doomsday rocket just took it out completely. Um, all right, let's get that reset then. Uh, nope, don't do that and build that's what i want you need to be built right there otherwise i want the animal zone so clear allowed dog area you're no longer allowed in there 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 and let's get the pigs going real quick and then i can let handy do her thing all right now they won't go in there so clear out dog area we'll get the rest of these ah uh, we'll well something like that i guess it's easier to go from the inside that way so from there down and in there and from there to there that work i think so now dogs right there what was that work frenzy for klaus who's not going to get to enjoy it okay um what am I looking at here? That's the dogs. That's the... Oh, wild boars are what I'm working on. Okay. So from there up. Here down. There through. Here through. One of the traps reset, they give a thump thump. And it kind of reminds me of the sound they make when they trip to begin with. And I'm worried that someone's, you know, going to be laying there and have another, uh, you know, horrible casualty like the last series, cleaning under the trap. Don't ever want to clean under the trap. So, Faith, did you? You didn't. Let's really work in here. That would do me, uh, you know, do me a big favor there. This is kind of a uh, really nasty looking area. All right, so what's been happening over here? Kaya, did I set you to? Yep. So you're going to do that and you're going to consume a meal. Because you need it. Okay. Who else have I set to do things? Grandma, Miss P, um, just Eric and Handy that I know of. Tomislav, you are researching. Good. We should be... Where are we on right now? We're halfway through components already. Oh, good. Okay. So, I don't think I have forced anybody else to do anything, right? 
just Faith who's going to clean just this area and then she'll be reset to uh, go off and do something else. That's not Kaya. <laughs> I thought I saw Kaya run up in here. I'm thinking, what are you doing? That's not possible. So Faith, yeah, we've already undone it. Okay. Another hand to Kaya, Faith. Yep, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm all mixed up. Faith and Kaya, I'm going to be confusing these two. Look how similar they look. I am going to be all messed up with those two. All right, so Tomislav, you are down here. Needs, you're about ready to grab a meal and about ready to go to bed. Handy, you are busy doing this. your last trap. Let's sneak one more in. No, your food is... Uh, didn't I have you get a meal? I guess I didn't. Um, boy, I thought I did. Sent you down to get that meal next to the uh, next to the stove. Hmm. Oh, well. You can have a long conversation with Faith over here. Kaya, you are attempting to recruit Purple. Okay. David's in there kind of doing the same thing. Klaus, how you doing? You're our last victim over here after... Uh, uh, Catherine somehow deflected all of that damage over the top of the wall and dropped it right on top of Klaus. <laughs> that was really interesting how the, uh, the mathematics played out in the background there. Would be nice to get this cleaned up. So Klaus, health, you're almost done. Really, it's just your infection. Um, immunity's already 94% by leaving you here in this bed, although you're up to a major infection. Major still got a few stages afterwards. There's at least extreme. It seems like there's one more word there that uh, comes in after that. But with this, I would guess that uh, you're going to hit uh, 100% probably this evening. Your rest, in fact, the main changes there. So we're at 96. Um, if I can move down into immunity without disappearing, there's probably a countdown going on. 97. Your needs, you're going to need a meal here soon. Anybody assigned to do that? If I had Tomislav, yep, you already are. So you're bringing a meal to Klaus. And we're close enough to the kitchen. That's why I wanted the hospital in this area. So we're close enough to we're getting meals in. is not a big deal. So that works out well. Having a long talk, which will help uh, give him a boost otherwise. And he's still attended wedding and has all kinds of... Uh, no, that's Tomislav. Klaus, you're still in good shape too. So got married now. Yeah, you're in really good shape. Okay, Big here is bringing a, oh, you're heading down to our stockpile. That's what you're doing, right up in here. Okay, that makes sense. Mei, Mei is fully healed and out walking around, which means she needs a new bed. So undo medical on these guys. These guys are all still healing. So Mei, Mei is someone we're going to try to uh, get a hold of. Purple still, Decker and Klompster. That's the goal. Let me know otherwise, because I just looked over and I see we're, we're approaching 50 minutes. So, it'll be time to shut this one down. Didn't get a whole lot done. Usually the episode after a raid is just a bunch of cleanup and sorting out and getting traps reset and things like that. David, you're probably going to be busy the whole episode. Otherwise, I'd have you finish the traps. Let's see here. If I were to have you right-click chatting with, so... Chatting, yeah, there's there's a lot of wardening left to do. That's five. That's four. So four chats are stacked up and ready to go. So David's going to be busy. Um, David's meals, he is wearing armor, vest. That's not the same one that got dropped. No, there's the D one. Okay. So, and you dropped off this one. No, that's a D. This one? Could be that one. Uh, Klopster is fully healed. Good. And Decker is fully healed. So let's pause and see what we got out of them. Um, let's set you for uh, regular bed, not, not medical bed. So purple Decker. All grabbing meals. Good. Health. We're, we're great. And that's Decker. Clumpster, there you are. A bite scar yet. May May. Uh, right pinky has been destroyed. Otherwise, you're fine. Purple. Had a few old injuries to deal with. Kina is still being uh, lost her left ear. Otherwise, she's she's healing. So the plan next time is to release Kina and Olga, unless I get convinced otherwise. So we'll release them next time. No benefit to us. They're pirates, so we're not going to be able to to uh, change a faction's opinion of us. But it relieves some use of meals for characters that 
are probably not ideal anyway unless there's someone that really wants the uh you know the stats here but i think it's just going to drive us nuts but you know there are there are advantages here but i don't know let me know what you think it's been noble rambler thanks for watching guys bye bye mm -hmm.